hello friends welcome back to the selenium tutorials in this tutorial we will be learning very important thing which is configuration of protractor with selenium uh, these days most of the websites are being developed using the angular technology and to automate the web pages which are built on angular uh, we need protractor because protractor seamlessly automates the objects which are created using angular so let's start doing that so for configuring protractor with selenium we need node.js this is very important this is the first part we'll have to download node.js from this website which is node.js.org slash en slash download i have just highlighted it and here on my browser i have opened it so here you have the page from where you can download node.js so i'm using windows so i'll be using this windows installer i am just clicking over here so the download has started you can see it on the bottom left corner it is downloading it will take few seconds to get downloaded so the download has completed now it will be available here in my downloads folder here you could see this file is available here you could see it is a 64 bit uh, software so if you need to install a 32 bit version if you're using a 32 bit system then if you on this website node.js.org uh, node here you have the option of downloading the 32 bit version as well if you would see like windows installer 32 bit you could click over here and go ahead with the uh, download and installation since i'm using a 64 bit system i'm using a 64 bit node.js application so what i'll do is like i'll start installing i'll what i'll do is i'll just double click this node exe file to start uh, to start my installation as you can see the installation wizard has started uh, it's quite simple you have to just proceed by clicking on the next buttons accept the terms and condition here it is the default uh, location where node.js would get installed you have the option of uh, changing the location it's up to you i'm just clicking on next another next and finally install so the installation has started it will take few minutes to get completed so as you can see the installation has completed I'll just click the finish button now so now the installation is done so to check whether the installation was successful you can open the command prompt as I am doing from the run window just type cmd enter and here you have to type the command npm space minus v and enter as you can see it is displaying the version which says that uh, the installation is successful so node.js has been installed in our system so this is the command like which you have to trigger on the command prompt npm space minus v if it shows the version which it is showing right now as 5.6.0 then you are good so installation is fine so next move on to the second step so the second part is the installation of protractor protractor which will be doing the actual automation on the angular website so to install protractor you have to fire this command npm install space minus g protractor so i have the command prompt open where we just checked what was the version of npm so in the next line you could just paste this command and click enter uh, make sure your internet connection is on because it would be downloading some stuff so your internet connection should be on and now i'm pressing enter 
so as you can see some kind of uh, processing is going on which means protractor is getting downloaded and installed so it will take some time so we'll we'll have to wait until this gets completed so yes we have completed installation of protractor this message has come up it is showing the protractor version as 5.3.0 also we can uh, fire a command and check the protractor version so to do that we'll fire a new command which is protractor space hyphen hyphen version so i'm just copying this command and pasting it on our command prompt i do that press enter and here i get the version as 5.3.0 which means protractor version 5.3.0 is successfully installed in our system so we have we are completed with the download and installation of node.js and protractor now the last part which is the actual configuration and running a sample script so let's start doing that so to configure protractor with selenium web driver we need to fire this command web driver hyphen manager space update what this will this command will do is like it will uh, download the latest web driver manager and uh, place it in your system so in the previous command we just checked the version of protractor now we will actually update the web driver bindings so i just copy this command and paste it on my command prompt and now i press enter so it will take few seconds and after few seconds if you would see you'll get some kind of messages which means the web driver manager is getting downloaded like you will get all these supporting files as well the gecko driver because the latest version of firefox browser we need the support of gecko driver so gecko driver is also downloaded so once you get these mess messages uh, you are uh, like you are ensured that your web driver manager has been successfully downloaded so now let's move to the next part which is uh, writing a small script so for seeing an actual execution with the help of a sample script one important thing is that the web driver manager which we just downloaded and installed it should be up and running to get the web driver manager running we have to fire this command which is web driver hyphen manager start very simple command so in the previous command we downloaded the protractor we checked the version of protractor then we uh, updated the web driver manager with the help of web driver manager update command with this command web driver manager start the server the web driver manager server will actually get started so just i'll just fire this command i'm just pasting it here and i am pressing enter as you can see some processes are running at the back end observe the last line selenium servers up and running on port 4444 which means your selenium server is now up make sure this command window is open do not close it i'll just show you like how on the browser this uh, will look like so because when you get this message you could check the same on the server like whether it is up and running so what you have to do is you have to open your browser and navigate to this url so here i am pasting this url because my manager web driver manager is up and running successfully i am getting this kind of a uh, session so that is fine which means that the installation of web driver manager is done and we are in a position now to write a small sample script to do that what we'll do is like we'll create a folder anywhere in your system you can do it So I am going to F drive here in the F drive of my system. I have created a folder called protractor. You could uh, name as name is uh, like uh, you can give your own name. I have given the name as protractor here. Uh, it is an empty folder. Nothing has been provided over here. Very important thing over here. We need to create a JavaScript file called conf. C O N F. I repeat, JavaScript file called so you'll have to create this file it's very simple do a right click 
go to new text document just give this file the name as conf dot js we'll edit this later but this file is mandatory without this file the script won't work so this is the conf which is actually a configuration file which we have created under the protractor folder so this conf.js file we have created now i'll edit this file in this file i am just mentioning some property like here the host which we have started here this is the, this is the host we are just referencing to this host in this config file and specs so specs this is another file which will create uh, so the name here first pro test.js the name which we mention over here is exactly the file which we'll create now so i'll create another javascript file and i'll give the name as first pro test so in the same folder where we have created the conf.js file here we'll create another js file the procedure is same the name of this file should be exactly what we have mentioned in the specs which is first first pro test dot javascript this is also javascript file hence the extension is first pro test now this is the file where we would be actually firing the web driver commands which would be interacting with the browser so we will have to write some kind of a code which is similar to the web driver java code which we have been traditionally writing we will write some code over here which will open the browser and do the desired operations for automation so we will take a very small sample in which we would be opening a url uh, to check the configuration everything is to check whether everything is working fine as expected or not so we we'll go ahead and edit this file I'll go to edit and uh, so now I am editing this test file I'm just writing small code what this code will do is like it will just launch the browser and uh, navigate to this website which i have highlighted the syntax and things like we will learn in the subsequent tutorials the intention of this tutorial is just to set up protractor on your system so we are not doing anything just writing a small script which would only launch the browser and navigate to this angular js.org website so once this is done just save this file and close it uh, just make sure like these two files conf and first pro test whatever is the test name uh, these are javascript files ending with the extension dot js so make sure you get this kind of a symbol when you save it if you're not getting just resave it uh, save it as with the dot js extension and things should work i'll just once again open this configuration file here whatever is the test name over here this test whatever is the test name over here the same name should be the name of the file which is first pro test so in short whatever is in the configuration file whatever test name which you mention in the fi configuration file will get triggered if you will mention an incorrect name then the script won't work and it would fail so everything related to the configuration setting up the files everything is ready with us the last part is remaining in which we would be triggering this test and we'll see that browser opening up and navigating to the angular.js website for doing that what you have to do is uh, open a new command prompt make sure the previous command prompt where we had launched the server is up and running if that is not running then it will create a problem this thing this should be up and running through the command prompt and now I have opened a new command prompt here I navigate to the location where I have created the protractor folder
so this is my protractor folder within this protractor folder i have my configuration and the test file as it can be seen on the screen now and now to execute the script i have to execute uh, like i have to fire a very simple command so i am doing that right now the command is protractor space conf dot js we are just triggering the conf configuration file over here so i am pasting this command over here and now i'll press enter to get the execution started so i pressed enter and now i am observing so as you can see the messages like it is showing that is launching and if you see in the background a browser has been loaded now it will navigate to the website so as you can see it has successfully navigated to do the website and it has closed the browser so we saw installation and configuration of protractor with selenium web driver it is quite simple just you have to follow the steps and you would be through hope you found this tutorial helpful i'll see you in my next set of tutorials thanks for joining